What's happening hardscapers today? We're augering post holes. Let's get into this. So our pergola is starting in our wall. So we're gonna actually have pillars going around each post. So we've got one there. We got one underneath that that we still need to get concrete poured. The next one is gonna be out here. So I'm gonna actually have to cut this concrete a little bit. Another one there. Another one over there and there and there and there. We got eight to do plus the privacy screens. So quite a bit to do today. Now when it comes to sonar tubes, piers, augering, this is something that in the past I've always subcontracted out. Uh, it's just something that I do not enjoy doing whatsoever. And it's something that I'm not efficient at. So in my business, if I'm not efficient at it, if it's something that I don't enjoy doing, I typically subcontract that out. Now, as my business grows as my skill set grows I do want to take on more of these tasks and uh, ideally I'd have an employee with me that I can also train to do these things but in this case I do not that being said this is the one of the first times that I've actually gone ahead and done this so this should make for some interesting content let's get into this Today we got one, two, three, four, five posts done. I'm gonna do this one by hand. It's a bit too close to the pool for my liking. There's, we ran into a couple old concrete fenced in pieces. There's one here, so we can't even get to this one. These are privacy screen holes. So they are three by three posts. We don't need a major pier in for those, but these are gonna be six by six pergola posts. So we went 14 inches. There's the sauna tubes for those, for those ones. And one, two, three, we hit the old fence that they left in. 
which has the wooden posts and concrete around it. There's one of the giant pieces that came out there and that was a pain so we had to chip away this whole side and then finally got enough leverage to just take the rest of it out so that slowed us down a lot there got a lot of dirt out though we've got a bin full there's the rest of our bin not quite loaded up maybe about half full we can only fill these halfway anyway so just taking a look at this empty space probably just half full didn't quite because of those concrete posts that had to come out that took up too much time we really wanted to get those french drain excavated and filled in here that would have filled up the rest of this bin it looks like we're gonna have to get another one monday we got three quarter clear here i'm gonna go get a mini x and start to dig the french drain now sides cleaned up here we've got a nice slope coming from the bottom of our wall base to our french drain so now we're going to line this with non-woven geotextile put a little bit of three-quarter crushed on top and then get our pipe in there and then surround it with three-quarter clear compacting all the way through we also got a drain in there and we're moving along here and you can see we've got our downspout connector with a clean out there so that runs much like the last one went but this one goes a little bit on an angle and we'll have another french drain installed in there you can see the old pipe for that and we'll also you can see that we have our drainage pipe in here it does go under the hot tub pad uh, that will then come into this area and tie into that French drain as well. You can see where the fabric is. We got our drainage stone covering that whole area around the pipe and on top of the pipe and underneath the pipe. So we got four inches, then the pipe, and then we try to get about eight inches on top of that. You can see that we're gonna continue that along there as well. So essentially we've got a pipe in behind that wall that slopes to that corner, and then another pipe all the way that slopes down to there. You can see it in behind there, and that will tee into that existing line, which will then come and go all the way down through the swale. Again, this is like a French drain under everything. So it helps with the jointing material that we're gonna be using, that it's just gonna move through this, follow the path of least resistance, which also slopes down to here and comes out. So we will also mimic that on that side and that will just give us a good amount of drainage. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. That really helps me with this channel. There's gonna be a playlist that pops up somewhere in here. It's got every video from this project. So if you're just watching this video for the first time, there's all the videos from that project in that playlist. So go check that out. Leave a comment if you have any questions, anything that you wanna leave in the comment section, I'll respond to anybody and everybody there. And subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.